Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Uh, hello again everyone and welcome back, it's day 14 here of Season 3 Tomb Raider season and we're about to dive straight in to the bottom of our second week here. Today we're going to be focusing on some Slayer again. We did have a little bit of a quest left to do, we're partially through it. Let me just get on my way. We're part way through the Slug Menace, we're sort of on the back half of it I'd say, but I'm not gonna go finish that off right away. Right now, the Slayer plan is actually taking a bit more precedence over the quest plan. Main reason being, we're not gonna get 35 runecrafting from finishing the Slug Menace alone, and I really don't want to train runecrafting, but we get, I think, another 5k from perilous moons so theoretically rubbish bird i'll run the nests theoretically that might be enough to get us to 35 save us from doing any runecraft trading if we complete perilous moons which i wasn't actually planning to do soon but i guess we are now and then we'll have the requirements for what lies below and thus defender of varok afterwards so yeah the slayer planet is taking a little bit of priority we got a basilisk's task yesterday i can't remember exactly how many it was that we have to kill 124 so quite a lot it's probably gonna be a multiple day task and we're not gonna waste any time we're just gonna go get on with it now, we do need to get ourselves some new weaponry. Oh, we've got fucking birdhouses. I'm distracting myself, that's what's happening. Or birdhouses, farm runs. Yeah, we're gonna do this farm run and then we're gonna get to our basilisk task. And yes, we need weaponry because we need to wear a mirror shield to not get drained by the basilisk's attacks constantly to unreasonable levels. So that means we need a one-handed weapon rather than the blades we used to. And I believe I have selected just the weapon for the job, which is a bit of an unusual one because we still only have 55 attacks so we can't wear dragon weaponry. You won't crush for these basilisks. They don't hit very hard but they have quite high defense levels so you do want to try and be on the right style if possible. So we're going for a crush weapon, a one-handed crush weapon, so that we can wear the mirror shield. I'll tell you now, it's going to be expensive, but we're going to sell it as soon as we finish the basilisk task. I think I'm actually just going to go to the bank and get the rest of that compost and put it in to leprechaun storage, because I remembered we had it here. There is 42 farming. Has been uh, slowly climbing up that one. Ooh, we got our first Hespori seed. Never gonna be able to plant that. Very nice, very nice. In fact, we can almost get into the basic level of the farming guild now, which doesn't give us much, but it does let us trade in the series. spirit seed. Oh, la la la, words. That I think we got in season one, maybe? From moleskin exchanges? Might have been season two. I think it was season one, though. If you remember, let me know in the comments. You super fans, you. And I say that in the most loving way possible. Oh, I didn't bring a ring of wealth. What an idiot. Okay, used up our energy. Gonna bank everything. We want a wealth. We want Renars. Do we have any nests? We've got seven. Lego. Oh, let's get our uh, cash stack as well. So we can get an idea of how much we have. A oh, lovely haul coming in there. 1.2 mil. What are we up to? Oh, uh, we will be at about 1.5 when those run out, so. Alright, let's see what the damage is on a granite hammer. <laughs> if 
560k. Didn't buy immediately. We'll try it for 565. Didn't buy. Well, let's try 570. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, we got it. We got it. 570k. Okay, we got ourselves a granite hammock. Can we get a mirror shield here or? We can. Saves me a trip to a Slayer Master. Nice. Okay, so the cash stack is looking uh, miserable now, but it's okay. It's okay. It's only looking that way because we've got 600k in our hand that we're planning on selling back. Ooh, we do need some more combat potions, don't we? I'm just going to go for 10. <sighs> They're expensive. Okay, after stocking up on potions, we're even more worse for wear there. But necessary costs, I'm afraid. Alright, we're gonna want this stuff, a jeweling ring. Have we got everything here? Yeah. I'm gonna end up flicking for like the majority of this from what I can tell. Oh my gosh, I didn't start the timer. I didn't even open the timer. Alright, 10 minutes. Well, I'll do 11 minutes just to be on the safe side. Is what it is. What a fucking idiot. I mean, we did lose like 30 seconds there, but oh well. Who actually cares? Uh, let's get a single stamina, because I don't know how long the run's going to be. And a bit of food in case. I guess we'll see if any of the shortcuts are available. They changed a bunch of the levels on the shortcuts needed to use these recently, which I've always thought was stupid as fuck that they needed such high levels when you use this at a low level. But yeah, it looks like this first shortcut is available to us, which is sick, because that gets us straight to the Basilisk Room after we fail to jump over the traps at least. Let's go. Oh, are they not aggroed? That's annoying. Oh, I've got to use the spec as well. Guarantees an extra four damage or something. Okay, I need to turn my sound effects down, that's awful. Oh, Granite Weed on our second kill? Get that spec in. Max it at 24. Not bad. We are like smoking these to be fair. 13 minutes it thinks to kill 44. Oh no it's gone up to 4. Okay now it's saying 12 minutes to kill that many. About 13 minutes to kill 44. Which puts times that by 3. That's like 39 minutes. We might actually get this task done today. Although the rate will get worse as the stats drain but I'm starting to think it's actually feasible. I haven't really started concentrating yet. Like, I'm just sort of getting into it, so... Do we even need prayer? That's a good question. Well, we've taken a hit, and we're dealing less damage. We're taking more hits, so... Yeah. I think these guys might even have superiors, you know? Crazy would that be if we got a superior with, like, an actual decent drop? They're usually very disappointing, but who knows? Oh, we're on attack. We don't want to be on attack, we want to be on strength. I never even checked the attack style. <laughs> not used to using different weapons. I mean, training and attack's not bad, we will be doing it eventually. It's just, we wanted to finish off our strength training first. Also, there's not an awful lot of drops coming from these. Okay, I'm noticing the kill rate starting to dip now, so I think I'm going to repot when it goes to plus six each time. When we're potted up, the kill rate is very good. It's when our accuracy starts to drop that it gets slower. Maybe it'd be worth divines. They're gonna be expensive though, aren't they? I oh, may as well just repot every five minutes at that point. I didn't even bring fire runes, I've just realized. I usually have my pouch on me when I've alks in it, but totally uh, spaced on that one. <laughs> There's 60 strength. Damn, I should have waited a few more seconds before potting. <sighs> we could have had an extra one on there. Okay, I'm actually going to swap back over to attack now then. I was going to do defense next up to 60 so that we could wear the dragon boots. But I think I'm actually just going to take my attack up to 65 instead. Because we want the extra accuracy here against these in particular. And then we'll be able to wear dragon weaponry. It's basically dragon weapons, which is DDS most of the time to us. It's just so we have a good spec weapon. Or dragon boots for the extra strength and... Defense stats, that's basically the next benefit to get from each attack, probably more useful for training as well. The higher my attack, the more likely I'm to hit and to gain XP faster, so going for that before the defense. 
for that reason. Oh, come on, man, a dwarf? Why, why'd this guy just stand under me? Like, bruh. You really had to come onto the world all along? Could you just hop try them? Out here with his whipping full dragon. Out of the two of us, who looks more fearsome, eh? Really. This guy with his fucking dragon med helm instead of a slave mask. Or me and my mishmash assortment of gear with an actual cape on my back. And there is 44 Slayer, just four levels to go. Not bad at all. Well, apparently, we are just not due a Slayer level. We have... Yo, why was I on about superiors earlier? We don't even have bigger and badder unlocked. What am I actually talking about? I was just about to say, unless we get a superior and get the XP bonus, we can't even get ex superiors. I'm just a fucking idiot. Yeah, what I was gonna say is we got 69 kills left on the task, 71, or 68, 71, and it's expecting us to get 71 kills in 27 minutes, but we've only got 25 minutes on the clock. Basically, I feel like we're not gonna finish the task, we're gonna have like 10 left, and when we do finish the task, we're gonna be on the edge of the next slayer level. <laughs> So if there's three people in the Basilisk caves, what is going on? What are you guys with your high level gear doing here? You should be killing Basilisk Knights. I actually have a Basilisk task on my main at the minute. I got like an hour before starting this recording, but I will be doing it on the night. It's not on these pricks. I haven't got my jaw yet, but I do have a Basilisk head just casually sat in the bank. Love it when you gotta get the super rare useless drops. Well, we are over halfway through the tasks now. We started on 124 and this is kill 64 I guess we're about to cross off right I think I'm gonna make a quick bank trip once this prayer bar runs out just grab some more potions and some fire runes oh for an R weed right near the end all right back to ferox did end up using a full prayer potion as well as a full super attack and super strength during that so about 20k expenditure on the trip but we made that back in Renar weeds at least don't really need food at all, so I'm not going to bother with any. Uh, let's get a rune pouch. I think I need to collect my potions, actually. Yep. Rune I still haven't sold. It's crazy. Alright, back off we go. If I remember right, it did actually put the Renars in a bit over the expected price. I don't know why it did, but I just left it, so I can always take it down ever so slightly. Why don't we put those new ones in? At the end of today. That guy just left a lander on the floor. Sure, I'll take that. Yeah, we will be very close to the end of this task, but... Mm, dude's just leaving herbs all over the floor. And there is 56 attack. We get our first level training that skill for quite a while, since we unlocked the Sulphur Blades. It's worth noting, like, the main purpose of wanting 60 attack is for a Dragon Dagger special, but it would also enable us to do things like wield a dragon mace here rather than a granite hammer which is like 10 times the cost as in a dragon mace is 10 times cheaper than a granite hammer uh, even though it's stronger just because it's such a much more common item to get so yeah 60 attacks nice for multiple reasons not just the dds but also in case we need a specific style we can pretty much get whatever we want at that point from dragon you know we could get a long sword a mace and a sim and we'd have dragon weapon all around not a long sword regular sword that being said until we have a dragon defender i'd rather keep the sulfur blades because that's what we'll be doing for the most part you know we're not going to be doing much training outside of the nagua and the the bursting that we're doing so it's not like we're going to need much different styles for uh, anything although it may be handy trying to get our first completion of perilous moons to have access to all three styles so having 60 attack before we actually try and complete the quest is probably ideal. It only costs us a couple hundred K to buy those weapons for each style, so I'm going to report for the last time to do it. I've got to as like three minutes on the clock, then do birdhouses. Max hit 25 now, fully potted with 60 strength. I might be mistaken, but I think our max hit was actually higher than that with the sulfur blades at a lower strength level, which means it's probably gone up at this point. We probably have a higher strength bonus of the Sulphur Blades than we do with the Granite Hammer and the Mirror Shield. If we had a, a Defender in the other hand, we wouldn't, probably, but... I haven't decided which Slave Master I want to use for my next task yet. 
This one came from Childar, I think, but I cancelled one before, it was the Blue Dragons. And to be fair, like, I'm not sure how great this task is. It's okay. It's not a bad task. I think it's better than Blue Dragons would have been. It's much more efficient on our time limits. But it's probably not the best way to train our Slayer. But I don't know. Is Vanaka going to give us anything better? Or is he just going to give us, like, fucking 150 great demons or whatever? Which is the same difference as this. I suppose we don't have to manually click those, so... Slight improvement. Worst drops though. Yeah, I'm kind of undecided where to go for the next task. There's also Konar. I could do Konar. I could just like main Konar to get Brimstone keys, but what if they give us like a super awkward task? I mean, we've got two skips available, so if there's a time to do Konar, it's probably when we do have skips available. Like if we have to skip two bad tasks immediately, then we'd just take the third somewhere else. This will probably be the last one here. Alright, time to go do our birdhouse run. I estimated we'd have about 10 left. I wasn't far off. We got 15 left. Saving ourselves 3 minutes for the birdhouses. And also to sell up any of these herbs that we can. Hopefully it's better than the first run we did today that gave all birdhouses. Bird nests even. I feel like I've barely spoke today. Because I've just been like, focused on flicking for a lot of it, so it might have been a bit of a short episode, not sure. We've made some solid, solid progress though. Looking forward to looking at that XP tracker at the end of the day. To be fair, I don't think the XP tracker will be anything insane, but it will be solid. Almost got another hunter level there as well, up to 60. Let's just get any seeds that we have to sell. It's probably easier just looking in it. Okay, I'm gonna have to take the Renars down ever so slightly. I'm not allowing myself to put the rest of this up because I did take about 30 seconds off myself at the start of the day. You can see it's not even reached one hour on the login timer yet, so because of that snafu near the start. So yeah, we're still uh, <laughs> under time there. I want to make sure we got the last of those in. Okay, so we're back up to 869k. We got seeds for tomorrow. We haven't sold those yet. Uh, and we've got 560k in Granite Hammer. <laughs> So, yeah. Yeah. We spent some money on potions today, probably about 200k. But most of the money that we spent was on that granite hammer. Other than that, the cash stack is still looking okay now. And we'll have more Nars coming in tomorrow, as well as... I'll probably go and finish off that task, and then do a couple of quests, and then go back to Slayer. We've got the Slug Menace to finish off. And below Ice Mountain, which is a very quick, easy, low-level, free-to-play quest. Should be no problem at all. And then we've no more quests to do until after we've done Perilous Moons at that point. So we'll be cracking both of those out tomorrow and the Basilisks. And then focusing on that Slayer journey some more until we are up to level 48 for Perilous Moons. Speaking of our xp progress we are on 44 slayer at the moment approaching 45 we managed to get ourselves 8000 xp today 7000 on the strength front 10000 on the hit points front and 25k in attack we actually got way more attack because we'd damn near finished that strength off anyway we were right on the edge of a level a tiny bit of farming, standard hunter adds up to 60k in total which is very nice indeed i'm just glad to see this Slayer steadily increasing. We should get 45 tomorrow, as long as we do start a task after the Basilisk one. But yeah, it's been a fairly solid day. We killed 109 Basilisks today, which feels like a pretty good rate at this combat level and stats and gear setup. So I'm fairly happy with that. 100 bas 109 Basilisks is nothing to sniff at. You know, we got our burbs and herbs done as well. I don't think we could really be hoping for a much better rate than that. So, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Looking forward to tomorrow. And if you haven't seen, I scheduled a live stream. I decided for day 100, big day 100, technically it's day 99, but I went one hour over in season one on the finale. So I'm counting it as 46 days in season one rather than 45. So basically it's day 100. Anyway, day 100, big sub. Not big sub. Am I even speaking words anymore? I've got a live stream happening on Saturday, 2 p.m. UTC or British time. I'm pretty sure that's UTC. Check out the page if you need to see the live. There's a, it's set up on YouTube so you can see when it is in your time zone.
It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be doing a live recording of uh, day 16. So we got tomorrow's episode as normal. And then day 16 on Saturday is going to be a live version. I would love to pick some of that shit up. But I can't. So instead, I'm going to log out. Make sure you tune into that live stream though. I hope I see some of y'all in chat pogging along as we probably do some Slayer progress, I imagine. Until then though, and tomorrow's video, look after yourselves, be lovely to one another, and I'll see you on the next one.